Yeah, g'day and welcome back. The comments on my Sandblaster review were pretty consistent. They pretty much all said, get a vacuum cleaner, run it through a cyclone dust extractor, and most of the problems will be gone. So that's what we're going to do this week. It was pointed out that across from this pretty useless filter, there's actually an air intake on this side. Like air can come up through here and there's a hole in the back, so I could connect the vacuum cleaner to it. However, I kind of like it to sit right back against the wall. So I'm tending more to chop an extra hole in here or down here or something and connecting the vacuum to it. By the way, while I'm here, I'd like to congratulate NASA for getting the Hubble Space Telescope working again. Fantastic. It's been down for like a month, I believe. They managed to get it working again. So how awesome was that? What an amazing science tool. Well, after 30 hours of printing, this is now finished. Oh wow, looks really nice. A few little defects on the outside, but for the most part, pretty near perfect. The threads came out well too, so now I need to print the second half of it, and yeah, get it going. Aren't 3D printers just amazing? Now I could make this out of a big pipe, small pipe, other piece of small pipe, flat, flat, and like weld it all together, it would take me forever. And this was literally just go in the thingiverse, type in cyclone, find one that looked cool, download it, put it in my slicer, find out that it's slightly too big for my slicer, find out it's slightly too big for the European vacuum cleaner hoses, tell the slicer to scale it down 10%, slice it, send it to the printer, Well, that printed nicely. To all those people who started off with like rep wraps and stuff, thanks a lot. Appreciate all the what the pioneers did for us, huh? Here's the moment of truth. Do these actually thread together? Oh, mate. Just like a port one. Oh, that's perfect. There are a few little warts and defects on the outside of this, but I'll give it a quick sanding and I'll probably paint it. I'm going to use the sewage pipe and make a dust bucket. This part's going to get bolted onto there and the whole thing goes on top. Feels like I'm putting a hole in the bottom of Fido's bowl so he can't have any water, huh? Now you know I like a green machine tool, and not just any green, this is RAL 6011, or Cedar Green. paint the inside as well just to give the dust less to stick to
All right, now let's put this together. Well, there's that mounted. Now I need to make an attachment for it on the side of the sandblaster. Haven't had a huge amount of time for YouTube in the last couple of months. Apart from holidaying, I've also been helping my daughter remodel this kitchen. I guess I'll test out the cyclone with the skill saw. So now looking in the in here, a lot of sawdust down here in the cyclone. Take the lid off the vacuum cleaner. There's no new sawdust down in here. This is all plaster and stuff from before. So it's obviously working really well. I've run out of time to get the sandblasting cabinet modified with a connector for this hose. So I'll leave it here. It seems to work. Thanks very much for watching and, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.